we go. He's down now. Oh, he's taking off on us. Here we go. It's on now. <laughs> I don't understand. I, yeah, hello. Oh shit, he's got a gun. Hey. Ow. 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 Just looking back at the camera like, I don't think so. He didn't indicate there was some kind of emergency. Okay, yes he did. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Devon Plays LSPDFR, and uh, we're going to be back up in Polito Bay today, doing another patrol with the uh, Polito Bay Police Department, and uh, hopefully during this patrol I can avoid getting hit by a truck. Ow! Oh ow! God, ow! I but either way, we're going to get out there, and we'll take some calls, we'll do some, uh, we'll do some traffic and see what we can get into. Uh, you can see we're going to take out this awesome, uh, Dodge Durango. This is the only department I have that's actually utilizing a Durango in addition to the, uh, uh, Ford Taurus behind us as well as the, uh, the, uh, standard Dodge Charger. Um, all of these skins were made for me by, uh, Terry Sloman. Uh, this vehicle was put together for me by him as well. He's an excellent artist. Check him out on lsbdfr.com and support his work. He's absolutely great. Um, the skins here are based on a Clear Creek Township, Ohio. Um, but with all that being said, let's, uh, go ahead and get out there on the road. Unit 10, Lincoln 21, Citizens Report at 484 on Palato Boulevard. All right, so it looks like dispatch is calling in in regards to a gasoline theft from the gas station down there on Palito Boulevard. We'll head over there, see if we can make contact with the complainant and see what's going on. And I don't want to miss this light. Thank you. Okay. You should probably calm down, lady. Uh, these lights take forever, I swear. Because this is a completely legal maneuver. There we go. There's the, there's the shopkeeper right there. Let's pull up over here. Lock everything because we're the police. Yeah, man, I see you. I'm, I'm, I'm right here. Yeah, I'm right here, man. What's up? Good day, officer. How's it going? Someone just used my pump without paying up. I have CCTV footage, but I'm no expert when it comes to vehicles. I was hoping you could take a look for me. All right. Yeah, for sure. So we'll go inside and take a look at that. All right. There they are. Bastard. <laughs> I can make out the vehicle's details from the CCTV footage. Oops. Uh, the vehicle is a black colored carbon Zaire. License plate is 47 Edward Sam Union 108. They made off in that direction, officer, and he's going to point that away. So on down Polito Boulevard. All right. So we'll let dispatch know about that car. We'll get a, an alert out for it. Let's go see if we can find it. Oh, man, my car is filthy. So black carbon is there. That shouldn't be too hard to find, really. Hey! You know what? I'm gonna. There we go. I'm gonna clean the car. Might be him in front of us. No, that's not him. If I was him, I'd head out towards the highway. So let's go that way. Is that him right there? We have a traffic alert on Great Ocean Highway. That's not him, but I was right. There he is right there. A little bit further. We have a 148 on... Yeah, it looks like he's gonna run. Maybe? You gonna run, dude? There's a cop in front of him. There's us. What an idiot. He's gonna get him out of the car. And then tase him. Look at this idiot. You guys gonna take him into custody too? He's definitely giving it up. Where'd they go? Please, you don't want to do this. Man, he about got shot when he when he jumped back up. Take him guys, come on. 
There we go. Yes, no sir. Dispatch, you can show us 1015 out with this guy. We're on uh, US Route 1. Alright, man, come on. Let's get off the road here. So I'm gonna take him over here. What the hell was that? Did those motorcyclists just, like, appear there? Because I think they did. I'm going got to, three seconds to move. move my car over here, like that, and let's go talk to him. All right, let's question him here. He tried to run. I don't know if I'm going to charge him with it. He didn't get very far. He, he, like, he decided he was going to run and then realized that state trooper was right in front of him and decided it was a bad idea. So I got warrants. At least I think I got warrants. All right. Do you have anything on you I need to know about? Let's see here. Doesn't matter whether he can sense we Where is it? I know we have it. There it is. Touch me and find out. Okay, I will. Anything in that vehicle you want to tell me about? No, I'm my lawyer. I'm not answering any questions. Okay. All right, man. Well, you do have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can will be used against the court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you can't afford an attorney, you want to be appointed to you by the state of San Andreas. You are under arrest at this time for uh, petty theft in addition to uh, trying to run from us there. So, alright man, go ahead turn around. I'm going to search the car and then get it out of here so we can get the highway opened up. In fact, let's bring traffic to a grinding halt here so we don't get people going crazy. I see a several driver's licenses, a dollar pills, receipt, shotgun shells, a pistol rounds, a Zippo lighter, and a veteran's ID card. So, several driver's licenses that could be, uh, that's receiving stolen property. We got Marky e. Smith here. They're not fake. If they're fake, then we'd be possession of criminal tools, but they're not fake, apparently. So, I need to go make sure I've got fake licenses and real licenses defined differently. Odor narcotics. That license status has expired, but there's more stuff we can throw at him. I don't know if I can ask him if he's... Yeah, that's fine. Alright, it's not a big deal. We're getting enough just based on our observations, we could probably hit him with driving under the influence as well. So, you know, we ain't got nothing on him except for those driver's licenses. So let's go ahead and put him in the car. Look at those side runners. Those are cool. Alright, man, hop in. There you go. Right, you can stay right there. Let's get out here and search his car see what he's got. Biker's like stuck in his door. Set my Model L, soccer ball, a duffel bag filled with caps of suspected heroin. So, guns and drugs. All right. We all know they go together. So, let's go ahead and get this car out of here. Flatbed, assistance required on Great Ocean Highway. Go ahead and test that dope. So, yeah, all right, he got out because it was giving me the option to put him out, so, all right, he can just hang out back here for a second. No. He needs to go back in the car for a minute. So we'll test one of those caps of heroin to make sure they're actually heroin. And I have to go pantomime opening the door again. You know how this goes. There we go. Let's test those drugs. Alright, a suspected cap of heroin. Hit it with the old marquee. Uh oh. Pretend like we don't see those floating lights. Alright, yeah, positive for heroin. Cool. Let's go ahead and uh, 
we can let traffic go now, I think. See traffic flowing again. And let's, uh, let's write this guy. Here's the car with his air. We stopped. Marky Smith. Record check for him. License has expired. Yeah, we knew that. Okay. Um, I have a citation for that first. Light violations. Traffic violations. Uh, driving on expired license. We got that. Uh, that's the only thing we're going to write up the citation for. And then we're also, also going to arrest report. Crimes against uh, property. Petty theft. Uh, and I mean, ultimately, he really did try to run, so... But I can't really, I wouldn't say he did, he, he tried to run. Yeah, that's really just going to be resisting arrest. Not the normal fleeing and eluding I do for car chases. He didn't really put anyone in danger or take any, like, he tried to run, but he didn't put anybody in danger. He didn't, he didn't cause issues, so just resisting arrest for him there. Oh, and the heroin, obviously. Now, that is actually kind of an issue because he did have it individually packaged, so... Intent to distribute narcotics, possession of heroin, and also receiving stolen property for the fake ID or for the IDs. I think that's a. I don't know if that's a felony or not. Whatever. There you go. All units monitored. Arrest report. We just a complaint about a speeding vehicle. From what we can make out, all right, we're here. We're real close to the jail. Let's just run them in ourselves real quick. What that ambulance is up to. You're a long way from the Vespucci Canals, lady. What are we, what are we doing here? Somebody hurt over here? Oh god, there is someone down right there. This dude could just hang out in my car for a second. Let's keep an eye on this. Okay, looks like they're good with her, then. Is that the woman that was talking on the phone? Did she just, like, have a frickin' rage heart attack or something? I think it was. Alright, well, they clearly don't need any assistance, so let's just get this guy into the jail. Alright, and here we are at the jail. Pass him off to another officer. And, uh, Marky here is going to be headed off to jail. It appears to just be a day for thefts as we're responding down to the Pluto Bay discount store in regard to a shoplifting. We're actually on the wrong lane here. Let me just. Uh, well, maybe we were. I don't know. You know what? Problem solved. There we go. Head down here and deal with this shoplifting. It's uh, kind of a lot less uh, crazy today than it was last time we were in Polito Bay. Uh, as you can see, the rain has finally arrived. Just, uh, just dude, get out of the way. Alright, we're almost there. Pull up on scene here. close to the door. There we go. Okay, that's an issue. There we go. Hey, officer, the scumbag is in the back. Alright. It's wide a talk. What's going on, guys? Stand like right here. That'll work. Good day, officer. Glad you're here. This person just tried to steal items from here. I haven't had dealings with this person before. We intend to ban him from the store, though. Lies, you asshole. Why the fuck did this store get dedicated security? I'll need to head downtown to get my free stuff now. Shoplifting isn't a crime. The retailers are the real criminals here. Have you seen the recent prices, officer? No wonder shoplifting is so common. Scro Scrooges. But I wasn't doing anything. I was just nosing around. This guy's lying. I don't know, man. That kind of sounded like a confession to me. So, let's... 
Got any ID on you, bub? How are you? Jesus! What the heck? That's... Okay. That's really not what I wanted. Thanks. I have a feeling that that's not the right guy. Uh, yeah, that's not the right guy. However, that security guard does appear to be intoxicated, so that's another issue we could work on. Hello. Well, not we, but, uh, the store, maybe. There we go. This guy. This is the guy I want. Maybe. We, okay, there we go. Thanks. He, uh, no odor of narcotics about him. Jake Jensen. Wait a sec, buddy! Uh, 12, 20, and 90. I'm sorry. 12, 10, and 96. Uh, lower arm has needle marks. Alright. I mean, we'll... At this time, I'm gonna place you under arrest for, uh... You're mine uh, now. Petty theft. Whoa. That security guard has really wigged out. Okay. He's been placed under arrest. Um, go ahead and patch it down, man. Gog's on this coins. He doesn't have nothing on him. They say he tried to steal. So. I think what we're going to do is uh, he doesn't have anything on him. He said they intend to ban him from the store. I wish I could ask. I uh, wish the guard hadn't wigged out. I would stop him and ask him. Well, let's do this. Hey. Hold on a Shop second. owner, dude. Questions. Where is it? I added a new question for this, uh... I thought I did, anyway. Oh, there's, do you want to press charges? Yes, you bet I do. Okay. Alright. Come on, man, let's, uh... Set out to the car, buddy. Hopefully we can get back out the door without teleporting. Get another unit out here and ready for him. Oh, that's the, uh, the security guard, that's right. We can check. Hey, no warrants for him. Alright. Arrest report. Slate charges. Crimes against authority. No, property. And again, with petty theft. And then we're also going to issue him a criminal trespass notice. That he is banned from the store and not to return here. What are you doing, man? Yeah, we're good. Okay. Uh, trespass warning. So, all right, man. Listen, you're under arrest for petty theft. They are going to press charges. So uh, you can resolve all that in court. I'm also issuing a criminal trespass warning. Um, if you uh, if you return back to this store again, you will be arrested and taken to jail. So uh, just go ahead and keep that in mind. Uh, maybe stop stealing stuff would be a, a, a great idea. Everybody ready? Let's go ahead and get him off to... What is... I don't know what that guy's problem is. Please don't shoot to kill. Officer, do you mind... Get him out of here for me. Alright. So they'll go ahead and take him off to jail. And we'll go ahead and get back on patrol. Alright, so we're headed out of the dispatch for a welfare check. Neighbor called in concerned about their neighbor, Sandy Jays. That's who we're trying to make contact with. That car is parked terribly. Um... Looks like it's down here at the, uh, the apartment complex. Let's just go ahead and pull in here. Gonna turn right here and flip around on it. Stop right here. Most of my lights are just on so people see my car. So you can see the rain hasn't given up yet. So let's go ahead and head in here and see what we can find. 
first department on the right here. Hey, how you doing? Are you Sandy? Is your name Sandy? Uh, your neighbors are worried about you. Is everything okay? Come on, I haven't even stole nothing today. Leave me alone. You haven't stole nothing today. Okay. Um, Hello. Are you, are you Sandy? Thanks. This is Sandy J's, yeah. Why would you say that to me? Like, I, I, I just came out here because your neighbors are, uh, are looking for you. They want to make sure you're okay, but you're out here talking about stealing stuff. You got something you want to tell me? Let's check her name. Dispatch, can you give me one some worse on a Sandy J's 2196? She's valid and clear. Okay, well, I don't know why you talk to me that way, but I want you to make contact with your neighbors, okay? Um, see, she says the same thing, you know. She says the same thing. So only thing today, leave me alone. Okay. Um, we don't have any reason to go any further with this. She just said something dumb, mostly. So, okay, make contact with your neighbors, and we're going to let them know you're okay, and have a good day. All right. So that was pretty easy, pretty quick and, quick and clean. Uh, let's end the call out here. Please make contact with your neighbors and let them know you're okay. Yep, that's what we told her. And we'll let dispatch know that we're done with the welfare check out at the, uh, the apartments, the South Sea apartments, and we're going to get back on the road. So I've been following this Jeep for a while. He just ran that red light. Spinning his tires there, just ran that red light. Now he's just stopped in the middle of the road, spinning his tires again. There we go. Now he's just going to drive up on the sidewalk and continue. What you doing, man? What are you doing, man? Yeah, that. Stop the car. Are we running? Is that what we're doing? Yeah, I think we're doing it. Yeah, we're doing it. He's running. Alright, dispatcher. I'm westbound Polito Boulevard. I got one running. It's a uh, gray Mesa trying to get a plate. He's wrecking into a truck right now. Looks like it's a uh, 63 Henry Young Union 785. Target license plate. 63 Henry Young Union 785. No 1090. It's not stolen. Registered to Orion Misso. It's uh, we're on a traffic stop. Okay, yeah, it does. It's not counting us as being in a pursuit apparently. This one's on us. Weather conditions are wet. I don't know about a pit. But not down here on this road. We know what happens. Well, he, he might wreck himself out, actually. Okay. All right. All right there, OSP, or San Andreas Highway Patrol. That's what I meant to say. Whoa, oh, oh, he almost took out a dog. That might be the worst thing ever. Oh, look at the pit. He wrecked the crap out of him. Good God, Highway Patrol, you guys are nuts. Let's get out of the car. Stop the car, man. Get out of the car. Show me the hands. Show me the hands. All right, man, go to your knees. Go to your knees right now. Get down on your knees. Get down on your knees. Quit, quit doing a freaking jive and get down on the knees, man. Not complying. Dude, you're gonna get tased. Go to the ground or go to the knees. You're gonna get tased. Okay, yeah, lay down inside your car, man. That's cool. You're gonna get tased. Alright, man, you're getting tased. Alright, looks like. Hands up in the air. Now. I don't know what he's doing, man. Go down to your knees. Now. Okay, alright, lay down. That's fine. Looks like we got him. All right. All right, he's got him. I'm going to turn our siren off. Here we go. All right, man, so what was that all about? You're sitting back in the, the light there. You were spinning your tires, Gramps. Then you blew through that light. You stopped and started spinning your tires. I tried to stop you, and you took off. What the hell's wrong with you, man? 
Alright, let's see what we got here. Where is it? Dude, why did you run? Because I was scared. What were you scared of, man? All I did was pull up behind you. Alright, man, is that your vehicle? I'm not going to answer that. Okay. Alright, dude. Do you require any medical assistance? I'd like an ambulance, please. Yeah, I bet you would. You want to get out of here with the medics instead of going to jail. Alright, man. Have anything on you I need to know about? Yes. Okay. What about the vehicle? No. Okay. All right, man. Well, you are under arrest. I'm going to pass you down. You're under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. If you say can, we'll be used against your court of law. You have a right to an attorney. If you can't afford one, one will be appointed to you by the state of San Andreas. Okay. Sandy Shores ATV receipt. Can't have each snuff. Book of matches. And train ticket to Blaine County. She's got nothing on him. We do have Ryan Misso here. Let's get his ID the, the appropriate way. The car is filthy now. Thanks, bud, Ellen. I really appreciate that. I go to the Sheriff's Department head somewhere. A couple of them. Alright, yeah, we got Ryan Misso. That's our guy. Let's get him in the car. Whoa. Big frame drop there. Alright man, hop in, watch your head. Alright, very good. Hang out here for a minute. Alright, let's go search this car. Alright, bag of oranges, a bottle of detergent, a case of piss washer, logger, glass cutting equipment, and several shopping bags. Okay, so nothing in the car either. Let's go ahead and get a towed out of here. Tow truck, assistance needed on Procopio Promenade. Okay, so, see we've got warrants. There's no reason for that, man. Why did you take off on me? Like, you got nothing. There's nothing wrong with you. All right. Great arrest report, select charges. Fleeing and eluding. Uh, leaving the scene of an accident. Reckless operation, speeding 16 to 30. I think. I haven't really looked at my speed, to be honest. I don't know how fast we're going. We'll say 30 plus. Um, definitely reckless. This weather is just absolutely atrocious for... I mean, he already... He, he almost wrecked himself out once before, before Highway Patrol took, his, took him out. Uh, he didn't have anything on him. He didn't do anything. I think that's really it. He said he had stuff on him, but he didn't. What did he have on him? I honestly don't remember. But he didn't have anything on him, though. That was the thing. There's nothing to, I remember he didn't have anything on him. I just don't remember what he had on him. Um, that, I really think that's going to be it for him. Aside from the ticket I'm going to give him. Red citations, like fine, traffic violations. Uh, but he's at fault in an accident. Um, okay, to stop. We are here for reckless driving. That will also cover the, uh... Yeah, it will also cover the, um... Doing his lights and all that, or, uh, spinning his tires and all that good stuff, so... Alright, man, so, you're under arrest for reckless driving, uh, fleeing and eluding, um... And leaving the scene of an accident. You are also being issued a citation for, um being at fault in an accident, as well as uh, running that red light back there, which is the whole reason we're talking in the first place. So, go ahead and get another unit out here. Assistance Take needed him. and palatial for it. You're on 24, I'm monitoring. Will assist if required. And here they come. I don't know. They are coming the strangest way possible here. They're coming up this dirt road, it looks like. Yeah, they are, yep. Careful there. Assistance 
acquired in Palato Forest. Whoa. Well, you know, the fact that you don't have a ride, that's your problem now. We're going to go ahead and clear and, uh, uh, actually catch up with that truck right there. Let's see here. It looks like I saw him weaving a bit when he drove by. So let's see what he's got going on. Oh, no, I just broke him. There we go, yeah. Well, there's that. That. I don't know what he's doing. So there's that illegal U-turn. So we can probably stop him for that. Looks like he's weaving a bit, too. Stop for us. All right, we're back on another traffic stop here with uh, Bobcat 61, Nora, Tom, Victor 517, Mark Sorrento, Sorrento vehicle. Vehicle valid and clear. What about Mark? Mark's also valid and clear. Let's make contact with him. Whoa, hey dude, get back in your car! Get back in your car! Okay, holy crap. Let's go ahead and get an ambulance out here. Okay, due to some conflict, the ambulance soon it is canceled. I've been having trouble with ambulances all of a sudden. I don't know why. Yeah, it's not wanting to let me call ambulances, so what we'll do instead is this. Call for first responder. Because they're in their own cars. I imagine I've got a... Maybe I've got an invalid vehicle or something tied to that. No, you won't. You'll stop is what you'll do, actually. What am I doing? What are you doing? I don't... Did you do, what are you doing, man? Here comes that first responder right now. So yeah, they're in, you can see they're in their own kind of like medic vehicles. I see the body. Might as well get the body bag out. I mean, I did shoot him in the jaw a couple times, it looked like. So we'll see what happens here. Man, I did not expect that. Let's recover that money. Man, I did not expect that. Wow. Just going to be a ticket, man. I put my gun away now. CPR is failed. This right. is why I drink. That's why you drink? I feel you, man. I do. Let's go ahead and get a... I need it. Oh, yeah, that's right. We can't use the radio for that. Backup required on... Jesus. Promenade. Oh, we're waiting on the corner. Let's see who he was. Make sure he's the same guy. Yeah, it was him, Mark Sorrento. A postcard from Lost Ventures, stress ball, can of peach snuff, and hand wipes. Alright, man, what would possess him to do that? Let's see what's in the car. Pilot dirty clothes, several passports with the same photograph, and a Taurus 85. A soccer ball and a baseball. So he had a gun in the car, but chose to come out with the knife. I don't know, maybe he wanted to get that silent kill. So he's got several passports with the same photograph, too. So, yeah, I don't know. This guy was probably involved in some uh, nefarious stuff, it seems like. He, um, he might have been he might have been involved in some, some terrorist activity or some uh, highly organized uh, criminal activity, but I don't know. Let's get his car towed out of here. Tow truck, backup needed on Procopio Either way, man, there was no reason for that. truck to show up. Yep. I finally got a replacement for the large tow truck, too. So there we go. Alright, well, that's gonna just about 
do it for our shift, I think, so we're gonna head back in. Alright, so, uh, here we are back at the uh, station at the end of our shift. Uh, the rain's finally clearing out. And, uh, had a little bit of issue with the court cases. Um, our first guy in the carbon is there. His case didn't create for some reason, so we're not going to be able to do him. Uh, but the people that we did arrest is, uh, we've got I've actually already run, but we've got Jake Jensen was the one we did arrest. He got nine days, despite the fact that we charged him with petty theft, resisting arrest. Intent oh, no, wait. No, it ran both of them together, because this all was Marky Mark, or whatever his name was, the guy with the carpet is there, and we only hit, the, we, we gave petty theft to Jensen in addition to a trespass warning, so let's get ran everything together. So he got nine days, so nine days what well, really should have just been a petty theft charge is fine. Um, so go ahead and just delete his case. Uh, Justin Shane wasn't someone we actually dealt with. Um, and then Ryan Misso was our guy fleeing and eluding, leaving the scene of an accident, reckless op, and uh, speeding 30 plus. That's our guy in the Mesa. As you can see he got six years and six months. So there we go. Um, sorry about that. I don't know why. It seems like Interaction Plus is kind of messing up, or maybe I'm messing something up in regards to running these cases, but that's alright. I don't know how these things happen, but it's not a big deal. Either way, thanks for joining me for another episode of Devin Plays LSPDFR out here in Polito Bay. And, uh, again, thanks everybody for, um, for all your support. We did finally pass 50 subscribers, and I want to thank everyone who's been watching the videos and, uh, and, uh, showing me love and support. Really appreciate you guys and gals. Um, thanks a lot. Just continue to watch. Like I said, we're going to put new stuff out on, uh, Thursdays and, uh, Sundays. Uh, I might try to get a third day up. Uh, if I can get the time, but uh, appreciate everybody uh, checking in with me, and as always, I want everybody to stay safe out there.